Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my April favorites for 2013. Uh, today is May 1st, and I'm not going to be like everybody else and be like, oh my gosh, it went by so fast. It actually didn't go by that fast for me, honestly. Um, that's only because I did absolutely nothing this past month. Nothing exciting, nothing interesting, so um, the month really just drug on for me. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get right into this favorites video. So, my first favorite of the month is actually these uh, false lashes right here. And these are Demi Wispies, which these are actually pretty natural looking if a fake lash can look natural. Um, I really, really love them. They are just so nice, so beautiful. And I have the tag here. Here it is. Sorry about that. Um, these are the Salon Perfect Press On Self Adhesive Lashes. So, that's what that looks like. So, this is what the packaging looks like in case you guys want to find it in the store. Um, I absolutely love these. I actually use these in my Next Face Awards tutorial, which will be linked below if you guys want to check that Next out. Next favorite is this right here. Now, not, ne not necessarily this particular bottle, but this bo these bottles in general. Um, this is my newest one. Uh, I actually hauled this a few weeks ago. I still haven't taken the tag off of it yet, but um, these water bottles from Victoria's Secret, this one says drink, drink up. These are amazing. Let me see how many, these, this is a 32 ounce water bottle. That's a lot of water. And I actually take these to work with me uh, and just fill it up full of, I, like halfway with ice and then the other half with water. And uh, well, you know, ice is water, I understand that. I'm just saying, I'm telling you how I fill my cup up, okay? Anyways, I like to use these at work because um, when it gets really busy at work, I can't necessarily go and re keep refilling my cup. So I like the fact that it holds a lot so that I don't have to go, you know, and keep refilling it and wasting time and all that. Next favorite is kind of odd, but I, I'm just, oh, I love it so much. And it's this little wood cuticle pusher right here. I don't use it for pushing my cuticles. What I actually use it for, if you guys are wondering why it's all, like, stained up with colors, is I actually use this when I paint my nails. Um, I don't have any nail polish on right now, but essentially what I do is when I, after I've painted the nail, I will actually go and just, like, scrape out any like polish that may have gotten on my skin or anything and wipe it on a little like Kleenex and it's totally fine it looks perfect it looks like I went to the salon and got it done so I really really love these and I think I got a pack of like six of them for a dollar at Sally's I'm not really sure yeah now the next thing I have is one of my favorite products I may have actually shown this in a favorites video um last year perhaps but I am like I've come back into love, I've fallen back into love with this particular blush, and this is the NYX blush. It is in uh, 26 Rose Garden, and oh my gosh, it seriously is just one of the prettiest blushes I have ever seen in my life. It's just an amazing, like, pink color with gold shimmer. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it so much, and I had forgotten that I had it because I'd been using, um, Legendary from the Marilyn Monroe collection from MAC. I've been using that like non-stop because it's not a shimmer blush, but I've fallen back in love with this. Oh, I just love it so much. Okay, along with makeup products, um, I ran out of my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and sad story, originally when I was buying it, I remember when it was like $15, and then it went to $18, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to pay almost $20 for, you know, a, a, an eyeshadow primer and it killed me. Well, finally, I ran out of mine, so I had to go get more. Went to the store. It's now $22 for the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, and I'm just like, oh, there's, like, there's so many other things that I could purchase with $22. So, I have, again, another rediscovered product. Uh, I've fallen back in love with my NYX eyeshadow base in white, and uh, yeah, it's, Oh, one, but it's it's white basically. It just looks like that. Very creamy. I love it. I've used it in pretty much every tutorial that I've put up recently, and yeah, it's pretty great. I think it's it works just as well as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. You know, it may not have like the longevity that the Primer Potion does throughout the day, but it lasts a pretty good long time. Okay, so my next beauty favorite is actually something that I did a demo like review on, and it is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I will link my uh, demo below if you guys wanna check that out. But I am in love with this foundation. It is so amazing. At first, I hated it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't like it. There's, there's, there's something wrong with it. It's not working right. I just absolutely hate it. But that's only because I've been using the same foundation for like a year and a half and I hadn't switched. So when I tried this out after the first couple of uses, I'm like, I'm in love. Uh, and I'm in the color 110 Ivory and it does have an SPF of 20. So that is 
pretty darn good for a foundation, especially during the summertime. And I actually wear it every single day to work and it's perfect. It doesn't like melt off of my face. It just... That is actually something that Josh got me. He um, bought it online and it came in the mail and I had no idea. I was so excited. And it is actually this brush roll right here. And I'll open this up for you guys. It just looks like this. And it is by Coastal Scents. And as you get, yeah, Coastal Scents. It's a 12 piece brush kit. And they're empty because I've actually been using them for my tutorials. Um, but instead of showing you guys all the brushes, I'm actually just going to show you my three favorites that I, I'm absolutely loving. This is what they look like. They are such good quality. I seriously have not had any shedding at all. And I, like, oh, I just love them so much. So this one is N27, and this is just a giant fluffy brush. This is what I use um, to apply my powder now. So I've been loving that. And then this one is a uh, tapered blending brush, which I've never had one of these before, and I seriously don't think I'll ever be able to live without it. Um, this is N09, and it is uh, amazing. I, I love it so much. I don't know how I ever did without it. And then the last one I have is SO2, and it is a flat shader brush, and this, again, is so the great. Thing, these brushes are so soft. Oh my goodness gracious. They are amazing, and I don't know how much he spent on these, but it wasn't a whole lot because uh, he is like really cheap <laughs> but this is amazing like they're so great I'm so happy that I got them they're perfect a perfume or like a body mist that I've been loving for the month of April was the pink warm and cozy and this smells so good uh, I'm not really normally one for vanilla scents but this just smells like so just warm and cozy warm and cozy it does it, it really does smell warm and cozy it smells just so good it's so fresh and I think that it would probably be more of a winter scent um, but honestly I've been loving it I've been wearing it every single day it's such a good scent then my last scent that I've been loving this is actually a lotion that I've been putting um, on my hands and my feet when I get out of the shower and um, it's from Bath and Body Works, and it's called Aruba Coconut. Just looks like this. It literally just smells like coconut. Oh, it smells amazing. So good. I don't like coconuts to eat personally, but I really like the scent of the coconut. Also from Bath and Body Works, my favorite scent this month was the pineapple mango candle. As you guys can see, I've burned quite a bit of it. I even, you know, burned the side here, but it's okay. Um, it just smells so good. I absolutely love it. It actually reminds me of a a Yankee Candle candle. But I can't think of what it's called, but it smells so good. Ah, oh, so nice. And I, I just, I need to get more because I'm almost out. But absolutely, that's pretty much the scent I have been burning all month this month. Now, I have two more items for you guys, and they are food items. I normally don't really include food. Um, I don't know why, I just don't. But this month, Josh and I have been absolutely obsessing over these flavor blasted goldfish, and this is in the explosive pizza flavor. Now, when I was younger, I really did not like the pizza flavor, but when he got these at Target um, a few weeks back, I was just like, okay, fine, let me try them. Oh, they're so good. And then, the very last thing that I have been loving this month, I actually received... Uh, the first time I ever tried this product, I received it, I believe it was in a box from Influencer, and I ate it. Oh, and I loved it so much. It was so, so, so good. So I actually got a giant box of these from Target for like three bucks, and there was like ten packs in it, and there's four cookies in each pack. These are the Belvita Nutritious Sustained Energy Breakfast Biscuits, so they just look like that. And they are so delicious. They have the yummiest flavors. Um, this particular one is the Golden Oat, which is the plain. But my Target did not have the Apple Cinnamon or the Blueberry, which are my two favorites. But I absolutely love these. They are so tasty. And they're actually not that bad for you. There's only... See, one pack, four biscuits, is 230 calories, so usually what I'll do is I'll have two for breakfast and two for lunch. And maybe have like a cup of fruit um, with my lunch with them so good. Alright everyone, so that was all of my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!